In this session, we shall go through the salient features of sex and relations. And in the beginning, we shall look towards sex, that is uh, under the heading set theory. Okay, first of all, what is a set? What is a set? Our earlier definitions say that a well-defined collection of objects, well defined collection of objects of objects is called a set okay the definition is okay what can you mean by the word well defined when can you say that a particular collection is well defined and when can you say that a particular collection is not well defined it will be very clearly understood if you can go through some examples look at this collection 1 1.2 root 2 rama pen lion etc 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 what type of collection can you say about this? Collection of natural numbers? No. Collection of decimal fractions? No. Collection of irrational numbers? No. The next itself, Rama. The name of a male person. Is it the collection of names? No. Pen, an article is there. Next, a, an animal is there. What can you say about this collection? Suppose, suppose a pencil is there. Pencil, does that element belong to this collection? we cannot see so we can say nothing about this collection whereas you consider this collection one two three four five six and so on etc this is a collection of natural numbers such type of clear-cut perfect fixed understanding can be said about this collection that is why it is well defined moreover you see, there is a definition to the word well-definedness. Yes, a collection is said to be well-defined if it is possible to decide whether a particular object belongs to the collection or not. Well, 1.3, does it belong to this collection? No, we can say no perfectly. Well, next, pi r square, does it belong to this collection? We do not know. We cannot decide, we are not able to decide whether that that number, rather that object pi r square is an element of the collection or not. That is why this collection is not well defined, whereas this collection is well defined. Such well defined collections are of course called sets. Well, we shall usually represent a set within flow brackets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, stop. This is a set containing five objects, one, two, three, four, five. Moreover, the objects of the set, of a set, are called elements of the set. How many elements are there? Five elements are there. Five elements are there in the set. Isn't it? Well, next. Before going to deal with the remaining concepts in set theory, let us recall some standard symbols. What is the symbol? Belongs to. This, this this all these three these three symbols are meant to use the word such that this is of course belongs to belongs to and this is for every for every this is there exists there exists or for some for some this is such that such that such that for every there exists and there has been some more symbols also which are which are of course very familiar to us let us recall them within a minute this is subset of this is proper subset of This is not a subset of, not a subset of, this is does not belong to, does not belong to, 
like this and there are some more standard symbols mu or s or x we use any of these three to represent a universal set what is that universal set next i might i think you would have you might have remember this symbol of course it is read as phi either this or this empty set what is that empty set 